Labyrinth, come in. Hello YouTube, Joshua Posh 11 here again, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a survival boat and arrow. So, the things you'll need, this one's already made, and I'm going to tutorial it, is four of these super strong elastics, and I've already joined them. Four of these, these ones, well, sorry, these ones, the single, and then I've just got different colour. They're all the same style though. So then what you do is you connect these up and if you don't know how to connect them you just go like you get two and then you put one under one and then pull that one through and then the other one that's over and pull it under and pull and it tightens them together. And then you do nearly the same thing. You grab one, put it under, then you grab it, pull it through and pull it through itself and it'll tighten itself and make a really tight knot. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need to carve out your holes on your bow. I hold my bow here, so just above there, you want to create a little notch like that with a knife I've just got from Kathmandu. And this one has a really nice blade on it. And I flick it up, really nice one, and you just carve it out like that. So the next thing you'll need to do is, I've already got a notch on this end, for the elastic to go in but you can make one by doing if it's just flat like this I cut off the actual notch there was one there but you can just go like that and keep doing that ow I think I just cut myself who cares okay you keep doing that on two sides then wrap your elastic the next thing we need to do is wrap our elastic so I'll do that now now the one I'm going to use on this end it's a little bit tighter elastic band. It's a red one. That red one. You guys probably don't have the same, but it's a little bit stronger. So I'm going to put it around the edge with the notches because it's going to be harder. Now you need to wrap this around twice to keep it in place and make sure it falls into those notches nicely. And make sure I did this exact same thing the last time I tried to make this. Make sure your bow is the right way around. You need to curve coming down that way so you get your elastic and you wrap it around like this and I'm not a Frenchman <laughs> no. but you wrap it around once that way another once that way and then that should be good now you grab it see that's what I hate that's the only issue that you can get um, is it'll tighten the wrong way it will make it look demented and weird so you can try and pull that around, but it's loosening the bottom there. Top, top one, I think I know I just did. Okay, but anyway, if you pull down, you're not going to notice it. Then you just pull it down, like this, making sure they're not going to fall off up the top. See how it's really tight up top? You've got to make sure that does not come off its notches, otherwise you're going to get a painful little sting. Now lightly put that on, don't just rip it on, because it'll break your elastic. Well, the next thing you need to do is just check. It's good. Nice. And you get yourself an arrow. This is not ideal, okay? This is the short one I found in my backyard out there. But it's good enough. And it's just a piece of bamboo. Dead straight. Very strong. And to load your bow, uh, I would suggest longer, sorry. Uh, about that much longer. But to load your bow, I've accidentally done the notch on the wrong side, but that doesn't matter. You just put put your bow in, put your arrow in the notch, sorry, angle it down a little bit, then put it on your elastic, because what that does is, your elastic will actually come up a bit. When you prime it, the elastic will come up and bring the end of your arrow up. And you can also make a holder for your arrow out of paper, which I'm going to show in another video. Not this one, but there you go, there you have it. Soon. I'll see you guys next time.